So, um, we were t- the episode that I was talking about, I was talking about controlling anger and those sorts of things. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of that. I'm just seeing if there's any andesite in here that I don't see. And there's not. And to... Uh, I learned my anger issues with my dad. And to give you an idea... Why is it so dark down here? Oh, because that's... Um, obsidian. And to give you a good idea of what I'm talking... Is there andesite in here? Gravel? No. But I have this. Um, my mom to give you an idea what of what I had to deal with growing up. My mom just went to Minnesota to take care of a health issue. I think this is a better way of doing it. We still got some durability there. Um, let's go try and get some more andesite. I haven't um, finished this cave yet. Oh, what am I doing? What did I just use it with? Oh, that's the one I wanted to repair with. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, my mom went away for I don't know just a few days about a week and she's far away and uh, my fiance was worried about my dad's health so came over one day to the house and um, I shouldn't really be telling you this but I'll just say it this way we have a key how about that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and we can get into the house. So when uh, I have something to drop off, if they're not home, I'll just walk in and uh, drop off whatever, you know, the paperwork or whatever they needed and leave, you know. And um, so Stacy wanted to check up on them. And uh, let's see. I'm going to need a ton of these. I'm going to cut down another vein. You just make sure I have enough whatever is left on this. Durability 168. I've got plenty. <clears throat> and she wanted to check to make sure everything was okay. But they weren't home. And she went into the house and it was a complete mess. Like worse than any other times that they've she's ever seen. And my parents aren't usually like that so she was kind of worried that well she worked in Stacy has worked in the medical field before and she said the house looked like it hasn't been touched in days like it was somebody had a stroke and there was nobody there and it really kind of scared her that she was in there and it looked you know she possible you know, might be walking in on a dead body or something. But what had happened is um, they weren't just keeping it up. It was really bad, though, which is kind of not like them. And uh, my dad got offended that she had seen the house in that disrepair. So the next day, we were both scolded and told never to come over again. And Stacy's like, well, I was just trying to figure out if... You know, you were okay. I was worried about your health concerns and whatever. And um, my dad's response, you know, to that was... Well, actually, Stacy continued with the concerns about the house. I mean, about their health. And my dad... Uh, how can I explain this? My mom took off on a vacation and... My dad said, we're not allowed to go over anymore. And Stacy's like, well, how do I know if I can check on you just in case something happens? My dad says, I will call you every day. So, every day since my mom has been gone, 
He's been basically calling and saying, Hi, I'm alive. Click. Next day. Hi, I'm alive. And it's like sarcastic. The way he's doing it. And that is kind of... Because he's pissed off that Stacy saw the house. The way it was. And so she, he's going to take it out on Stacy when Stacy was just there just to make sure that he was okay. <coughs> she was worried for her. No, oh, excuse me. She was worried for his well-being. You know, nothing more. And he took it the wrong way, and it's like in a violation of his privacy when none of this has occurred before. It was just the fact that she had seen the house in a state that... Um, he didn't want people to see it, and he was embarrassed, so he took his embarrassment out on her. And now is being sarcastic asshole and calling us every day just to make sure that we know that he is okay and leaving kind of condescending, mocking type messages. Oh, you don't have to come over today. I am fine. I am healthy and kicking like a horse. So don't bother coming over. I am okay. Mom will be home in three days. You know, that type of stuff. And that's just, like, that is the type of attitude that, um, I'm not going to die this time, am I? That I have was brought up in. You know, really condescending, like, how dare you, oh, I forgot to make a shovel. Let's make a shovel real quick. Whoops, that's not where a good place to put the crafting table if you want to put it down. We'll just make a... Do I have any iron? Oh, I do. We'll make an iron shovel. I was actually thinking I was going to have to make a wood one. So, that's kind of like passive-aggressive. Um, that was him being nice, because in his past, he wasn't passive-aggressive. But he grew up, and he knew what he did when he was in his 20s was wrong um, but he still has that mentality and even my brother went over to to him and said hey when are you going to uh, give up on your stubbornness because at some point you're not going to be able to take care of yourself and there's going to be people worried about you so um, that's just not you know that's that's what we deal with I know, um, like I said, I had the anger issues, and basically I um, learned that the way you respond to certain activities in your life is the way your life goes. Like, um, some people, you know, are ultimately always looking at the negative side of life. And I know with my history that if I were just to look at the negative side of life, I am going to have... Um, Oops. Did I bring any smooth... I don't think I need smooth stone for the build. Um, I'm going to have... You know, lots of depression issues. So, I've learned to... No matter how bad a situation is... Is to find the good in it. Good in it. Um, other than when I just jumped off up there... And crashed and burned. But, you know what I mean. Um... There's a word for, I think, I, typhoon or tsunami or one of these words. Um, I'm going to make a chest real quick just to keep some of my stuff safe. I know I'm going to be digging out a lot of blocks, but at the same time, I don't want to be losing a lot of blocks. We don't want to lose that. Um, good, I actually have some dirt. <laughs> hard to come by nowadays I just don't like seeing the stuff despawn I'm a pack rat so um, the word for tsunami or uh, typhoon or whatever actually translate to like opportunity like even though it's a shitty situation that's going on um, 
it's also an opportunity. Like, I was down in Florida during Hurricane Andrew, and, you know, Miami area uh, tends to be a little rough and tumble than people, you know, it's like any other city, but maybe a little more, um, should I stay out here? Why not? Probably going to regret it. But when Hurricane Andrew came along, the city was divided initially. But once it did uh, come through, I guess I'll go up. Yeah, screw it. Ellie, once the hurricane did come through, uh, the people got together and worked together. People that hated each other the day before got together and started you know, working as a team to get through the situation. And that's kind of what, you know, that cool stuff happens like that. And even with, like, the racial stuff that's going on with the police brutalities and police acting kind of stupid, um, people are getting together and, uh, you know, teaming up. So, you know, in the protests, there are some idiots, obviously. But they're usually younger people that haven't learned yet. I'm going to pay attention here for a second. And I am going to build... I need two platforms. And I'm just going to... Well, let me use dirt. So I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. Okay, we can do that. One, two, three, four. Can, this would be where the other one is. And how far back do we go? Does that say five? That does say five. So one, two, three, four, five. Two. We can actually bring it back a little bit. Oh no, this stuff is going to be out in the ocean, doesn't it? Do I want to clear all this out? Hmm. I'm thinking of dropping this down another level and letting the water come back and bringing this back a little bit. Hmm. Is that right? That's not even right, is it? God. Is that all my dirt? Yep. Give me. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure this out. I am going to have to clear that out. So now, this one. Hold on one second. Of course. So it goes with the middle thing so yeah really where did you come from and what's up with the mobs not being able to swim they're so slow nowadays I'm gonna change this up a little bit because this is where it's gonna be I didn't bring any soul sand over, but that's where the soul sand's going. Come on. There we go. So that's one. One, two, three, four. This is going to be two. Let's see. Make sure one, two, three, four. And we gotta take that one out. Oh, come on, man. There we go. So I'll just take out one of these. There. Oh, it's gonna make that noise all this time now. 
Let's change so I don't have to pee in about 10 seconds. Thank you. Then we can go four back, I mean five back, and figure out where the second one's going to be. One, two, three, four, five, and then this one. So this is going to be the back of the dock because I'm not building the building that we had in that other one with this. I just want to... Okay, <laughs> I fell from a high place. Thanks for reminding me. Thirty nine. Alright. Oops. Fifteen minutes till Caitlin. Got it. That's why I'm looking. So, uh where are my stairs? Did I not bring any stairs? I probably put them in the chest, so let's make some stairs. There we go. That's a good amount. And we're going to do the same design again that we did at the other place. Which it means the low one goes up. 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 Mm. Oh, jeez. And what my father does is, uh, he's an anger relayer. He's not so much pissed off at people around him as he is either himself or um, work or whatever. And then if you get in his way, even though it's he's not angry with you, you're the one that gets your head beat, chopped off. But a lot of, you know, uh, he's got a lot of issues. We all have a lot of issues, but we deal with them. And if you can take anything away from all the stuff I've told you so far, is just make sure you are having fun. Because if you're having fun, you're doing okay. As long as you're not hurting other people. You definitely don't want to be hurting other people while you have fun. So that's no good. Because, uh... That's being a douchebag. Let's see if I can do this without falling over. Do I have the right stuff so I can cap it off? Oh, do I? I don't. I don't have those. Oh no! I need to make some of uh, these also. I left them in a chest down at the. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter where I left them. I don't have them now. Today was an interesting day at work. This is part of the reason why I'm recording today. I actually uh, did my nine, or actually I was, I would call it eight hours of work. Um, we want to we put a thing there. Nice, nicely done, Keith. Yeah, that's the thing that we're talking about, but not there. Um, some reason, some reason, my eight-hour route, I was able to finish really fast today. And with my job, if you finish what you do, uh, you're done, and you still get paid for what the thing pays for the day. So I don't actually, so. If the thing I'm supposed to do is supposed to take eight hours and it takes me three hours to do, I get paid for eight hours. If it takes me 12 hours to do, it take I get paid for eight hours. That's how it's set up. It's not the best way of doing it, There's, but um, for some reason, though, today it took me three hours. Three and a half. So it's nice getting paid for eight hours while only doing like a little bit of work but believe me there's days where I get paid eight hours and I work ten maybe twelve hours doesn't happen often but it does happen um, I've been at the job long enough where that doesn't really happen to me too often 
So that was a good thing. Very good thing, by the way. Let's see. I can't see how high I've gone. I'm going to take a look at my picture. I do have a cheat sheet over here. So let me get to the right picture. Oh, one. So the last one is a stair going up. So I got one more level to go. Let's get out of here. I can't believe I fell. <laughs> well, normally if I was playing by myself, I wouldn't have made that jump. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, blame you guys for it. Yep. I was trying to make the video a little more interesting. I jumped. Yep, yep, yep. It's all your fault. Got written up. Yeah. Don't do that. Also, that's a sucky thing to do. Own up to your mistakes. <laughs> Never blame other people unless you can get away with it. And I'm just going to top it. Yeah. Let's see how that looks. Oh, missed. Yep, that's a tower, all right. Oh, what the F? Oh, boy, oh boy, wrong place, uh, this is, this is a wonderful episode, let's build something, tear it down, let's build something else, tear it down, let's build something, tear it down, lovely, my lovelies, That kind of sucked. I'm going to leave that there just so I know as a reference. Mm -hmm. That's why we pay attention to what we're doing instead of talking about stupid shit. Oh, I want to clean that out too. Oh, I'm going to clean it. I have to clean that out. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have recorded today. Oh, boy. Oh, that actually worked out. So, do I want to go farther down? Yeah, I, this is what I was kind of afraid of. Let's get some air. Stop pushing me in! Go one more down. So if I don't do this, I will see it every time I come over and go, God damn lazy ass motherfucker. Finish your, do your build right. So there's one side. Let's get some air. Let's do this. There we go. So even if uh, somebody's being a douchebag, like if you have a dad that's kind of like mine, and he uh, is a jerk, but doesn't really mean to be, because I, I'm not, I don't think my dad is actually being condescending on purpose. It's just the way he was brought up. I don't know. I'm giving them a break. I really shouldn't. But I am. Um, I guess I should go down. Oh, I gotta cover this up. Let's go down one more. There we go. Why am I stuck? There we go. Torch, ladders, 
Shock Touch. Where is it going? Sorry, I'm just like not with it, I guess. There we go. Get. Just don't fall down that hole again. Um. Yeah. 